Hey everybody, it's me, Brother C. I'm so happy to be able to share a devotion with you today. God bless you all. I hope that you're all doing well and that you're God's tender, loving care. We just want to speak blessings over you now, all the listeners, that God loves you, God bless you, and keep you always in Jesus' name. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about faith. Now, my goal is to encourage and stir your faith so that you'll be able to believe in all the promises of God and in God himself. Through Christ, we're able to call God our Father. We're able to say, Daddy, we need you at this time. And, we, and everything that we pray in faith, we pray in faith to the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in everything that we believe. Amen? Cool. So... To get started, uh, I want to I wanna introduce you to faith walking. The Bible says that if we, when we are in the flesh, that we, we fall to sin. But when we, when we are in the spirit, that we're able to do the things that God wants us to do. So the Bible says, when you're in the spirit, you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh. So when we're in the spirit, we also want to walk in the spirit. Amen. So today we're going to go over faith walking. I want you to understand that our beliefs is not just a belief in God, but it's walking out our faith, that we're faith walkers, that faith takes action. Uh, James talks about um, faith uh, without works is dead. It's like if you believe something, but you don't do anything about what you believe, then it's not faith. When you truly have faith, you'll start making moves that agree with what you believe in. So we'll give you some examples. Um, before, just a little bit even more before we go forward, the Bible talks about being justified by faith. That we're not um, justified by our works, but we're justified by our faith and what we believe and what we do. And it also talks about walking in faith and not by sight. So faith takes a bit of an imagination. And without an imagination, it's hard to have faith because our hope is in the future and it's in the answered prayers that we ask God. So we have to be able to visualize it in our head or be able to see it in our head or be able to um, really, really believe in what you're thinking and praying about. So we'll give you some more examples as we move forward. You know, in the movie uh, uh, Star Wars, they always talked about using the force, using the force. And um, Yoda would tell Luke, you know, use the force, Luke. Everyone, Obi-Wan, use the force. Use the force, Luke. Let go, Luke. They encouraged them to use the force, but I, my suspect is that they totally stole that from the Bible because basically they're saying, Luke, have faith. You have to be able to believe before he could be a good Jedi. Well, that's in the science fiction category here, but we're talking about the word of God. We're talking about the Bible, which talk, which is God's promises to us. So we go by what the Bible says, and it's not just a cool science fiction movie. It's actually cooler because faith in God is real. To see God keep his promises towards us is very personal and very real. So Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 it gives you a definition of faith you know when jesus in all the gospels if he had to recognize something with his his disciples he would say ye of little faith but then also there's times where he when he got excited he would reward faith as well and um so whenever people in the gospels were believing in god that he would heal them that um, he was their, that he was a savior, that he was a righteous person, that he believed in justice, that he was so happy when they showed him that. Peter was able to walk on water. Blind people were able to see. People with no limbs, they would actually grow. And Jesus, every time would say, your faith has made you well. And he would say even sometimes, hey, I've never seen such great faith when, when people just demonstrated believing in him and who he was and what he can do okay so hebrews 11 1. 
Trusting is being confident of what we hope for, convinced about things we do not see. It was for this scripture that I tested the merit of the people of old. Okay, so it's talking about trusting is being confident of what we hope for. So right now, an example could be, Father, I'm hoping that you keep my family safe, that if that you protect us, that whatever's going on in, in um, our city, in our state, in the United States, in this world, my trust is and my hope is that God's going to take care of me supernaturally, like only a true living God can. And in the word, he promises to take care of me because I have faith in Jesus. And also my tool to show that I believe in God is that I pray to God. So as we pray to God, that is a sign of what we believe. We believe in God and his promises in the Bible and his son, Jesus Christ, and God the Father, that we can say, Daddy, help us. And we can trust in him. Now, that is a hope we have, it's real and it's for us. And praise God that we have God, okay? So, trust, be confident in what we hope for. Father, keep us safe, protect us, and then be convinced about what we don't see. So I know that in heaven, in an eternal, his eternal kingdom, that he's able to provide me health and protection. Not only for me, but for my family, my friends, and that's why I'm praying. I'm showing God, I believe in you and have faith because I'm praying. If I just believed him but didn't have faith, I wouldn't pray. But because I want to show God my faith, I'm going to express it in prayer. So we are going to pray a prayer of faith using the word of God. So in the word of God, it's exciting to read young people because that's where the promises are at. That's how we get to know that. Do you know the Bible says that because of what Jesus did on the cross, because he rose from the dead, because he gave us his Holy Spirit, that we could say, Daddy, Father, Poppy, however is your loving way to, to call dad, it says that we have the right to do that now because of what Jesus did. So this is the kind of relationship we have, and this is why it's easy for God to be so happy when we show our faith. So in a Psalm 91 is a beautiful promise that is a prayer that we can um, show our faith to God that we believe what he'll do. Now, this is the part, this is the fun part that this is where you use your imagination. And I'm gonna prove that not imagination to believe in a, a fantasy, but a, a true, true um, imagination to see the promises of our Lord. Now, as I go through, we're gonna read this whole thing. So hang tough, it's 16 verses, but the promises are amazing. And the only way you're gonna appreciate it is if you use your imagination and kind of kind of put yourself where this psalmist is, is uh, praying. This is a, a worshiper of God that trusts God and he wrote this beautiful prayer. So here we go. So everybody watching, let's do it right now. Let's pray in faith. Psalms 91, we're gonna read it, but we're gonna believe it in the name of Jesus as a promise of God. And then um, I want you to use your imagination and picture this while we pray it, okay? All right, um, Psalm 91, Father, we offer this prayer to you to show you our faith that we believe in your word and your promises. Psalm 91, those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust him for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though 10,000 are dying around you, those, these evils will not touch you. 
Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands, so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rest. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and give them my salvation. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Everyone, family of God, brothers and sisters, young and old, this is our faith. And our tool of faith is prayer. And we just want to say that we declare, believe, and will stand on this promise no matter what. Because when we have faith, God is happy. Our Father is happy in heaven. When we uh, trust in him, he's saying, wow, they really do believe in my son that I sent them. They believe in me. And guess what? I'm going to be their God and I'm going to take care of them because he's a good, good father. Amen. Uh, we thank you for this time together. Father, we just uh, uh, believe in your word and your promises and we should declare it in faith that you are who you say you are to us. We love you. We praise you. We worship you, Lord. Bless everybody listening. In the name of Jesus, amen. All right, y'all, you take care. Until next time, God bless you and Happy New Year.